Yes. Oh, he did it. already. That's an amazing accomplishment for him to get up into this truck. <laughs> He's getting old. Well, we're on a little adventure today. We're looking for something, are we? We hunt? We're on the hunt. Woo! We got it. We got it. Oh, this mixer is going to be beautiful. It's going to be beautiful. Got a Ryobi. Oh, this thing is tight. Can't wait to get this thing back. That's right, we got our Ryobi mixers, y'all. Oh, I can't wait to put this thing together and try it out. Oh, I gotta try it out. Let's do an unboxing. What do we got up in here? Instructions, y'all know how I feel about them. Nuts, bolts, washers. I have no idea what that is. What am I gonna do with all this styrofoam? Whatever that is comes individually wrapped. Ooh, that ain't no joke. So we thought we would invest in something that could save us a lot of time and labor, especially this year, and hopefully something that will be useful to us for years down the road. So if you've ever done any earthen building, making a mix can be extremely difficult, taxing physically, and it just takes a whole lot of time. Plus there's only two of us out here, so having a mixer is going to be like another person out here. So we didn't just run out and grab any mixer. We kind of shopped around. We went to a few different places. We looked online a little bit and we found something that fit our budget and met our particular needs. So installing the wheels on this bad boy, they're kind of plastic wheels. And I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, I mean, on one hand, I guess it's cool that you know, these won't go flat, but it'll be interesting to see how it performs out here. Don't lose your shoe while assembling. So I definitely wanted to get her out there, to get her opinions, because, you know, we gotta consider workflow, especially when having a mixer and how is that gonna fit into the whole process. So we definitely wanted to be there hands-on, getting to see all the various different types of models available. I think we found the right one. But we wanted to get uh, as much as we could for our money. So they recommend a couple people installing the motor just to get that rod through there. I think just safety sake so you don't pinch anything. But I was able to manage it fairly well myself. But we're all locked into place. You know, we went to Harbor Freight and they had a very nicely priced one, but it seemed kind of bulky to me. Yeah, the Harbor Freight one, I think, is actually quite a bit smaller than the one we ended up getting. Yeah. It costs a little less and less power. I think it was a third horsepower. Yep. And this is, what, a half? Yep. But yeah, it was pretty heavy and bulky. Uh, the Cobalt was probably one of the best you could get for your money. This was at Lowe's. A uh, very nice mixer. Very similar to the one we got, but a little on the pricey side. And it was still smaller. I think it was four cubic feet. That did cost more, about the same horsepower. And then of course at uh, Home Depot, they had the, uh, the Cushlin, which is like a, a smaller, kind of like a wheelbarrow type mixer, which is kind of interesting and I was watching the upside of downsizing. They had just got a mixer recently and they got the Cushlin. And you gotta take into consideration how you want the material to go. So the Cushlin is lower, so it's not as hard to get that material into there. But now getting the material out into like a wheelbarrow, then you gotta lift the mix from there into the wheelbarrow. So yeah. it's like a little bit of a give and take. That's a good point. And considering if you are gonna need to be moving the mixer around to different locations a lot and things like that like how what's the ease of use for your application and I think the Cushlin was more lightweight right wasn't it plastic yeah it kind of had a plastic drum so that's another thing to think about this one is a stainless steel drum so we ended up going with the Ryobi for our money now it was less expensive than the Cobalt but it's got all the power of some of the heavy hitters out there. It had the most capacity for putting materials in there and it's a little bit higher up. Now, obviously we're gonna have to lift the materials to get it in the drum, 
but then you want to get it into a wheelbarrow, you just unpin it, dump oh. it in. Easy peasy. And it has that steel drum, but I did notice there's a dent in it already. I don't know if that was from maybe loading it into the truck a little too roughly, but I don't think it's gonna impact the use at all. No, and uh, the nice thing about this drum here is that it's coated so that it should be a little less sticky for any of the materials in there. That's another positive thing about these type of drums. And I think most of them had it. The Ryobi has it, the Cobalt, and I think even the Harbor Freight Mixer did. It was just the, the Cushland that had the plastic one, and I wasn't too sure about that. I can't wait to use this. Versus machine. Are you ready? Ready. On your mark, get set, go. So the test is done and the results are in. This is just compared from hand mixing to mixing with this, the machine. But there's really so much time savings that really is incalculable. And that is while you load up the machine, start it up, I mean, then you're literally free to start other activities. And that's gonna save so much time. We could be saving hundreds of hours on our off-grid house build. And not just that, but you know, the physical energy that you're expending with the mixing, we can put that towards doing some other kind of work. This is going to be an indispensable tool. And cause not only are we gonna use it for the house, I mean, if it was just for the house, I might have gone around to see if we could find a neighbor we could borrow something from. But I mean, we got so much building out here, so much earthen things that we wanna get accomplished. Uh, this is gonna be extremely handy to have around. All right, everyone, thanks for joining us. And our little new, and our little new baby. Hi. It doesn't replace our crew baby though. Hello, hello with the new mixer. I'm loving the new mixer. Oh, oh, oh. You've got to be one with the machine. One with the machine. Luke, I am your father.